My brothers and sisters of Providence and our guests all around the world, God bless each and every one of you. Welcome to another installment of Ask Pastor Williams Anything. This week's question comes out of our New Testament reading of the epistle of James, and it reads as follows. In James, what does it mean when it says faith without works is dead? This is an excellent question. If you were to turn to James chapter 2, right around the 14th verse, James is making the point, if you will, that faith without works is dead. The point that he's trying to make is to say that you have no faith, to, excuse me, to say that you have faith, but then we don't see the evidence of that faith without the works in your life, the two don't jive and they don't go together. What you have to understand is when you are reading the epistle of James, you are reading a book that is in contrast, almost contrary to the grace that is provided by the Apostle Paul in Corinthians or in Romans. Whereas Paul would say James is too strict and legalistic, James would say Paul was too free and too gracious, almost licentious. And so James did not want brothers and sisters to think, well, the grace of God is just going to cover you. The grace of God is just going to cover you so you can live any old kind of way and you could do any old kind of thing. James is really dealing with the idea of personal responsibility because of your faith and the grace of God in your life. Because the love of God is so amazing and significant in your life, you have a personal responsibility to then obey the commandments of God and live out that faithfulness in your life. So if a tree is known by the fruit that it bears, James is arguing faith without works is dead. I should actually see some fruit in your life if you profess to be a Christian. I should actually see some evidence of the Holy Ghost transforming your life because now you have been not conformed to this world, but you've been transformed by the renewing of your mind. And James is arguing there should be some evidence in some good works. Paul always gets nervous when we start talking about good works because Paul thinks those good works are gonna make you become a little bit high on yourself. And think more highly of yourself than you are. Paul is worried that you're going to take those good works and think that those good works earned you grace, earned you righteousness, earned you faith, and earned you a place in heaven. So Paul is trying to balance it by pulling you over here to understand it's all God. It's only grace that's been operative in your life. And James is trying to pull you a little bit back to center saying, yes, it is all God. It's grace that's operative in your life. But because of grace, I ought to see some evidence of a life that has been lived for Jesus Christ. So this is what he means by faith without works is dead. It's not that works is going to earn you salvation. It's not that works is going to earn you righteousness. It is the idea that because of the transformation, the change that the Holy Ghost is doing on the inside of you, there should be some fruit. There should be some evidence in a life well lived for Jesus Christ. This is an excellent question, my brothers and sisters. Keep reading in the book of James, particularly when you get to that third and fourth chapter. I think he goes a little bit deeper into that point. And if you have any further questions, I'm always available to talk with you about it. This is Ask Pastor Williams Anything from Providence Missionary Baptist Church. God bless you.